Hello guys, Dan here from the Worst Game Ever, and um, welcome to uh, this this tutorial on how to run a Minecraft vanilla server. So uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do is um, open up Google Chrome. Now I'll leave the link in the description, obviously, but you go to Minecraft.net forward slash download, and you download Minecraft Server 1.7.10.x. Okay, um, also I forgot to mention that this is not involving things like, um, sorry, sorry, this isn't involving things like uTorrent or BitTorrent, this is just, this is the easiest way to do it, it's much faster than all the other tutorials, so let's just get on with it. So you go downloads, you get the Minecraft server that just downloaded, Minecraft server 1.7.10, and uh, first of all let's create a folder called server new folder server okay and you're gonna drag this into here so now you're gonna close this and you're gonna open this up and you're gonna ru you're gonna run this run now what's gonna happen it's gonna open then it's gonna close and the reason that is is because it's creating a file called eula and basically this is kind of like a terms of service kind of thing so you're gonna uh, open it and where it says false, you're just going to put true. So basically, all this is doing is saying, I agree to the terms of service. Don't worry, nothing will go wrong with this. It's just, you know. So, once you've done that, you uh, run it again. Run. And now you just leave it for a minute. And you'll see it will create all of these. Oh, sorry, a bit of lag there. You'll see it will create all of these files here. So, what you'll do now is go here and type in stop and wait a few seconds and it should close down on its own if it's gonna be nice <laughs> stop there we go okay so uh... yeah so what you know, want to do now is you're gonna see this server properties file you know, right click oops sorry right click open with notepad Okay, and if if you don't see Notepad, go browse, and then find uh, Notepad, or uh, sorry, other programs, and uh, find Notepad. Okay, we're gonna click Notepad, and we're gonna open it up. Now you're gonna have to go to. Uh, sorry, I have to find this. I can never find this bit. Online mode. Okay, you see it here. Online mode. You're gonna change that to false. Then you are going to go to. Actually, I think that's, I think that's fine. Um, okay, this is a uh, when you go to Minecraft server, you'll see it will say Mindplex, welcome or something. So you can change this to whatever. I'll change it to poo poo, just because I'm I'm mature like that. Uh, you can obviously max players, spawn monsters, uh, game mode. Um, enable command block. Now, I'll be doing a separate tutorial for this, but yeah. Anyway, so once you've done that, you, you see it says server IP. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have to go start, run, enter. Now, if that doesn't work, go Windows key R. Okay? Then you're going to type in CMD and click OK. And now I'll open this up. Now, I know command prompts is really like oh it's, it's uh, confusing what do I do what do I do but don't worry all you're gonna have to type in is IP config and you should see Ethernet adapt to local area connection 2 and if you look down that list you'll see IPv4 address and along it should say your IPv4 so what you do is you f you get your IPv4 and you put it where the server IP is now don't copy mine because that won't work so you have to copy yours. So one nine two point one six eight oh eight point one point six seven. Okay. So you have to so up here you have to do what yours says, not what mine says. IPv4 address one point one nine two point one six eight point one point six seven. So that's my one. So once you've done that, oh you have to remember this as well. If you see server port Control C that, so copy that, and um, yeah, so you need to remember 25565, that is the default, but yeah, so save. Now exit off this, now what we're going to have to do is um, we are going to have to port forward for it, 
So you're going to go here and go to your router settings. So I'm just going to go to mine. Now I'm with BT. I'm not sure what it is with other companies, but I'm just going to do it as if we're doing it for my company. What, what's happened there? Um, for some reason it doesn't want to work. Let me try again. Uh, one nine two. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so once you're here, I already have it put forwarded, so I'm going to erase it, and then I'm going to do it again for you guys. So you're going to want to go to Advanced Settings, once you're here. Now, this is my password. You'll have to find yours, but it will have a little diagram to say where it is. It's the admin password. So um, I'm just going to type mine in. Okay. Now I've done that, I'm going to go OK. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, continue to advanced settings. Ugh, sorry, I don't know why it's been really slow today. Ah, okay. What happened? There? Continue to advanced settings again. Um. Okay. Wait, what? What's? Ah. Okay. So once you're here, you'll see up here. You'll see wireless broadband, home network, firewall, and system. So where you're gonna want to go is firewall. Once you're here, you're gonna want to go port forwarding. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly unassign this. Okay. So you you're gonna want to go manage games and applications. Actually, I'll, sh I'll show you why. I'll show you why first. If you look here, if you go select gamer application and you look for Minecraft, you won't find it. It's <laughs> it's meant to have the most popular games, but it, it doesn't have Minecraft, which is crazy. So what, I'm just going to delete this. So what you have to do, you won't you won't have to delete it because it won't be there for you. It's just um deleting my uh, port forwarding so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so what you're going to do is add new game or application. Uh, tick no, and call it. Minecraft. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Minecraft. Okay. And now you're going to change any to TCP and copy that 25565 and copy it in all of them and then click add. Once that's added, you're going to go UDP and you're going to do the same thing. All four add. Once you've done that, that's pretty much it. You're just going to go apply. This may test take a few seconds. Okay, there you go. Now you'll see gamer application Minecraft. Um, now if we go back to port forwarding, and now if we go gamer application and scroll down to M, you will see that Minecraft is now there. So if you tick that, and then for the select device if you do PC and then click add you will see down here that it now has Minecraft for PC so you're gonna click apply okay changes applied okay um, some routers require them to be restarted once this has happened so what I would suggest you do now is um, go restart your router and then come back once your, your internet is back on so I'm going to do that okay and I'll bring you right guys, back. Welcome Bye. back. And so I've uh, restarted my router and it's back on. So now if you um, exit off the internet you won't be needing that anymore. And you uh, run your Minecraft server. Run. Okay, there we go. So now it's running. So you're just going to, oh sorry, you're just going to minimise this. And you are going to want to go to the internet. Boom. Okay, and search what my oh, IP. And here it will say your public IP address. It won't be the same as mine, but you copy that, control C, exit off this, and now you're pretty much done. So you're going to open up Minecraft. Sorry, it's a bit laggy because I'm recording, ho ho running a server and running minecraft and when i record for some reason it lags um, 
we're 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 loading a uh, 1.7.10 server, so we're gonna have to go to release 1.7.10 save profile play. So um yeah, this should load up. Once you're here, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go multiplayer, you're gonna go add server, you're gonna call what call it whatever you want, like a my awesome server. There you go. And now you're gonna copy your IP that you just copied, you're gonna do a colon, and you're gonna put two five five six five done so now if you scroll down to the bottom you should see my awesome server and of course poo poo zero uh yeah so yeah that's um that's it guys you should see my awesome server you're gonna join that and uh yeah like i said it's a bit laggy because i'm running a lot of things at once but once you're on here you go guys that's it um yeah, I, I'm not sure if you can see it. So I'm fairly certain you can see it. But uh, yeah, so now your server is up and you can just go on. So yeah, thank, ho thanks. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please um, leave a like. Please comment. Please subscribe. And please recommend this to your friends if they have the same problem. And al al also, if you ever want to close the server, just click stop. Enter. There you go. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.